What is going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you guys the three reasons why the 4-6 normal defense has been the defense of choice for the top competitive Madden players thus far in Madden 18. Let's get to it. Now, first and foremost, this stream is courtesy of Obi-Wan Shikobi. If you guys don't know who Shikobi is, he is a top competitive Madden player. Uh, last year, Madden 17, he did qualify for the online bracket and group stages of several tournaments. Unfortunately, don't believe he ever made it out to a live event, but he did participate in that B-Dubs Bowl 2 tournament at the end of the year, and I would not be surprised to see him make a live event this year. So definitely someone to be on the lookout for. Also, he is ranked number one on the Mutt Head-to-Head -head leaderboards right now, so very, very top quality Madden player. Now, getting into his defense, 4-6 normal, and... I was looking through some streams, and Shikobi was not the only one running this 4-6 defense. Problem was running it. A Lights Out was running it. Now, Lights Out actually put out a video highlighting a blitz out of this 4-6 normal defense before EA Access even came out. And that's kind of going to segue into my first reason as to why I think it's popular among the top players, is that there is a known consistent blitz out of this formation that gets consistent pressure if your opponent either doesn't expect it or doesn't know how to use the new pass blocking features at this point in the year, which a lot of people, I mean, obviously the top competitive guys do know about those features, but 80, 80%, 80 85% of the guys online probably don't. So that's going to set you above those guys in and of itself, along with the fact most guys at this point, three days into launch, don't even have a defensive scheme. Nonetheless, a scheme along with a play that gets that consistent pressure. So basically what you're going to see at out of this 4-6 normal pressure is it's a line shift to the left and then they're going to crash him down so you're going to kind of get uh, this kind of stunt right here and then uh, this linebacker is going to end up looping around between the left tackle and left guard and coming in through that left b gap so uh, that center is going to end up actually passing off the defensive tackle to the right guard and then he's going to end up getting confused and he's going to expect that linebacker to come up the a gap linebacker loops through the b gap center not quick enough to pick him up and he's going to end up coming in. You're going to see that in a minute. Now, obviously, EA did implement the ID the mic feature this year uh, where you can basically just tell your offensive line, hey, I want you guys to block this guy, and they'll block him. So a savvy player who knows this setup, knows what guy is going to come looping through, can identify him as the mic, and the pressure will get picked up. But like I said earlier, most people don't know what to expect, along with some people don't even know how to use the ID the mic feature yet. Also, if you're able to dictate what the offense has to do pass protection-wise, that's good for you. Even if they're picking up your blitz, now you're dictating, okay, if you're the offense, you have to identify that looping linebacker every time as the mic to pick him up. So now, as a defense, that gives you free reign, okay? If, if the offense is going to identify him as the mic, now, you know, maybe I flip the play and, you know, send Alfred around the side. Or maybe, you know, I base a line and drag this corner out and send a corner blitz coming off the edge or something like that. So... It becomes a game of cat and mouse, and when it comes down to a game of cat and mouse like that, usually the better player ends up coming out on top. So right here, you're going to see Jacoby going to go ahead and run this defense, and you see right there, the center already not going to get over quick enough. You see kind of what happens. Defensive lineman takes up the left guard. This guy pulls out the left tackle, and the linebacker comes looping in. Uh, through that left B gap. Now, obviously, Shikobi's opponent in this case pretty much did the bare minimum in terms of pass protection. It uh, looks like he sent his running back out on a swing route out of the backfield. So only blocking five, most likely did not slide protect and most likely did not use the ID the mic feature. So pretty much bare minimum, but you're going to get that consistent pressure, which is what you're looking for out of this play. And so it's going to force his opponent to roll out. His opponent's going to try and force a throw across the field while running backwards, and Janoris Jenkins ends up getting the interception for Jacoby. So that's the first reason. Now, the second reason, I think, is pure versatility. Now, if you guys didn't know this year, EA implemented a weak box feature where basically if you come out in dime, dollar, or quarter uh, formations, or basically if you have six or seven defensive backs on the field and your opponent comes out in a run-heavy formation and runs the ball up the middle of the field, your defense is basically going to get instantly pancaked and you're going to give up a huge gain. So people have been shying away from, you know, those six or seven defensive back formations. And this is where 4-6 normal comes swooping in. So 4-6 normal at its base is basically a 4-3 personnel fo formation. And you have your four defensive linemen, you have your three linebackers. So one, two, three linebackers, and then you're going to have four defensive backs. So one, two right there, 
your strong safety comes down in the box, and then you're going to have your other corner on the other side. So four defensive backs, three linebackers, four D linemen. However, what you can do with the 4-6 normal formation is at the play call screen, by using the personnel packages, you can go to the speed package. And what that basically does is it inserts your number three and number four cornerbacks at the outside linebacker position. So this guy right here and this guy right here both get swapped out for corner. So now you have six defensive backs on the field, essentially dime personnel, but since the game treats the 4-6 normal formation as a base defense, just like it would a 4-3 or a 3-4 or a 4-4, uh, you're not going to get penalized for having that six defensive back personnel in the field. It reads it as a base personnel and you won't get that weak box penalty. So even if you have six DBs on the field, you're not going to get instantly pancaked. So you can not only adequately defend the run now, mainly because you're not getting pancaked along with the fact that the 4-6 normal defense is inherently a good run defense because of the aggressive alignment. You have eight guys in the box, and a lot of guys will bring down this free safety into the box as well. So you're stacking a nine-man box, so your opponent probably already doesn't really want to run the ball against that. So you have the numbers advantage in the box, but also you have the personnel on the field to adequately defend against the pass if your opponent goes that route instead. So Pure versatility, the 4-6 normal is probably the most versatile defensive formation in the game purely because of that speed package. And you're going to see it right here on this play from Shikobi. In that 4-6 speed, you can see he's on Robert Alford right now. So that tells me he's in that 4-6 speed package. Otherwise, that would be a linebacker. Robert Alford wouldn't be right there. His opponent came out single back ace, looks like a power run to the right with Marshawn Lynch. Shikobi does a great job scraping to the outside and making the tackle with Alford giving up two yards in the process, and you could see how his defense did not get auto-pancaked, and the run defense was more than sufficient. So that is the second reason. Now, reason number three is, I think, supplemental to reason one and two. You can do number three out of multiple formations, but the fact that you can also do it very well out of 4-6 normal is kind of icing on the cake, and that is, quote-unquote, cross manning this year. So if you guys didn't know, uh, EA basically removed the ability to man up an outside defender on a receiver who was on the opposite side of the formation. So, uh, for instance, if you wanted to man up this outside cornerback all the way over here, you know, onto this tight end right here, you could not do that anymore. If you wanted to man up this defensive back all the way to the slot receiver, you can't do that. So, you can only man up basically on your side of the field. However, in this case for 4 6 normal, you have these three guys who are over the middle of the field. Your free safety, and it's going to be these two interior defenders. So one's going to be your middle linebacker, and one is going to be a cornerback if you're in that speed package. So what you're going to be able to do with these three defenders is you're going to be able to man them up on whoever you want on the field, regardless of where they're lined up for the offense. So you're going to see this free safety. You can man him up on this receiver all the way out wide you can man him up on the outside slot you can man him up on the inside slot he can go to the tight end or he can go all the way out to the running back so you can man him up on whoever you want and basically what that allows you to do is it remains it gives you the elements of that cross manning technique from madden 17 last year so all you want to do with cross manning is basically to take away those crossing routes deep crossing routes post routes slant routes anything over the middle you're essentially putting your defender in a position to where your opponent's receiver essentially runs the route straight at your defender. So your defender doesn't have to make up any ground or, you know, run the risk of getting beat on, on a cut over the middle, gaining any separation. Your defender's already in a position to make a play. All he's got to do is sit there and wait for the receiver to run to him. So you're still going to maintain that element. And you're going to see that element in this uh, clip right here. Shikobi goes ahead, mans up this interior linebacker onto uh, that uh, dragging receiver from the inside slot. Essentially, Jacoby's linebacker started about right here. The slot receiver probably started about right here. Uh, so it, it was a little bit of a longer cross man. What you're going to see is the drag route runs straight into the linebacker. And because of that, the linebacker doesn't have to make up any ground. He can just kind of sit on the drag route and run right with them. And as you see right there, linebacker all over the drag route. So now Jacoby doesn't have to worry about the drag he can focus on other things as his user you see now his user he's seeing okay the drag's taken away by the pseudo cross man so now i can focus on other in breaking routes he reads the dig route from his opponent's uh tight end right here and you're gonna see he recovers with marshawn latimer undercuts the route and ends up getting a pick six after breaking the tackle and hitting the outside so 
Uh, these are just three of the reasons why I think the 4-6 normal defense has been the early favorite for the top competitive Madden players thus far in Madden 18, and why I think at launch, uh, you will see that it remains the top dog uh, for you know the foreseeable future in terms of viable defenses uh, in the top tier of play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what I can do better for future videos. Always open to feedback. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.